Hi everyone, Rick Bray with Broom Tag Abosis, and I was just on a Zoom call with one of the teachers that I support, and it got me thinking two ideas that I wanted to share with you. Uh, one is screen recording. We use a lot of different tools for screen recording right now, um, but most of them are limiting the amount of time that you can record a lesson. So one option might be to use Zoom as your platform for recording. Bring everything into one place, if you will. To do that, I can just set up a Zoom meeting, uh, and depending on the level account zo uh, level Zoom account you have, uh, create that meeting and just not share the code with anyone. Hop in, and I can use the record button down here to record my screen. At the same time, maybe bring up some slide presentations and click through those because Zoom's recording my call. Uh, so different options there for screen recording without uh, the same type of time limits. The other thing I was thinking about are document cameras. Now, if you have a doc, if you're lucky enough to have a document camera in your room and you thought to grab it before you left, you can just plug this in and uh, next to the, the video, right, I can select a different camera to use. So for example, if I plug in this IPVO camera, do 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 all of a sudden I can now select between the built-in camera, it just hasn't recognized it yet, and there it is, the IPVO camera. So now it's showing my IPVO camera. Um, and I can take that and I can move it up, move it around, you can look at my messy desk, all that great stuff. Uh, and I can record using that. But maybe your classroom, uh, you're not lucky enough in your classroom to have a document camera or you didn't think to grab it before you left. So here's a cool option with Zoom. Again, depending on the account level, uh, the level account you have, you might be able to use your phone. Now I'm using a Mac to record this with, but I had someone else check out on Windows. This is still available. Here's what I can do. Under the share screen option, you'll notice I get all these different commands. One of them is to share an iPhone or iPad via AirPlay. When I click on that and say share, it's gonna bring up some uh, directions here that I'm hoping you can still see. And it just says on your phone or iPad, connect to the same network. So that, that's my network at home, right? And then I'm gonna go into the screen mirroring in my control panel, and I wanna select whatever it says there. In this case, it's that Zoom meeting. And boom, there's my phone. I'm now, I can, I can go to the camera in my phone and I can make a different document camera, right? Huh. How cool. So if I don't happen to have a document camera, I can wirelessly use my phone and still record it using Zoom. Really, really helpful advice. So there you go. I hope this helps you out. Uh, some different ideas using Zoom as your screen recording tool and using the screen share to get a phone or tablet to play to your Zoom meeting and record that as a document camera. If you have any questions on this or anything else, uh, ed tech related or distance learning related at this point, feel free to reach out to me uh, via email at rbray at btboses.org. If this video is helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And as always, you are welcome to subscribe to this channel to get notifications when new updates are posted. So with that, I'll say thank you for watching.